How to YouTube and future subscribers. This is 448 videos coming at you today with another knife overview. Today's knife in front of you is one of the favorite knives in my collection, the Bark River Gunny and CPM 3V. I keep bouncing back and forth between my Randall made Model 16 fighter and this knife when I debate which is actually my favorite. I know they are two totally different knives that serve two totally different purposes, but both sure are pretty and are of the highest quality. Now, unlike my Randall Model 16, I have actually put this one to some light use. I have feather sticked some pine with it in the backyard just to see how it performed at that task, and I've cut some cord and rope with it. I can report it lived up to expectations. Afterwards, I ran it over a ceramic rod and stropped it a few times, and it was back to almost razor sharp like it came out of the box. Now, for some specs, as you can see, Bark River Knives in CPM 3V. The overall length of this knife is 8.4 inches. It has a blade length of 3.775 inches and a thickness of 0.154 inches all the way down through the handle there, the full tank. It has green micarta handles, which in this video and in this light, it looks like a looks a little brownish, but believe me, it's green. And it also comes with this quality leather uh, sheath included in the box. I picked this knives up at knivesshipfree.com for three hundred and nine dollars and ninety five cents about two years ago, and it's probably going to still be in that price price range. Give a cup. Give or, give or take a couple a couple dollars. Going back to the knife, this model actually has the thumb ramp, as you can tell here, with the jimping on the top. And me personally, I like the I like the thumb ramp. I feel like you can get a little bit better better purchase on the knife, especially for those fine carving tasks. But some people aren't, aren't, aren't into that. It's not their thing. And you can also actually get this model without a thumb ramp too. And the Gunny is actually the little brother to the Bark River Model 1, which was developed for the United States Marine Corps, which means it should meet your survival and outdoor needs. And believe you me, it will. You'll enjoy it. So in my humble opinion... If you're looking at adding this knife to your collection, go ahead and take the plunge. You're not going to regret it. It's a great knife. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and head over to my channel for other knife videos. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button and notifications bell. It's greatly appreciated. So thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your, out of your weekend to, uh, to hear what I had to say about this knife. I do appreciate it. And so until next time, have a good one. And we'll see you then.